Richard, Master Cast Fly Fishers International, wanting to complete our third part series of fly fishing accessories. And I think I'd be remiss if I didn't re review a little bit about waders and some things to consider. We talked about the stocking foot uh, on the waders, which is nothing but neoprene that the boots go over. A lot of waders uh, have built in boots that are already there. Uh, the nice thing uh, about that is that it's all in one. The downside is that if you fall in and you get wet, you, you're gonna, the boots are going to be wet as well and um, it's going to take a long time to dry off. So the stocking foot will dry off a lot quicker, plus you can you take the boots off and dry them independently, which makes it a lot quicker drying time. Uh, and a lot of the boots now come with the boa laces, which are really nice. They do simply just wind up the lace as opposed to having to, to lace all the holes in your boots. But what I wanted to really point out on the, on, the, on the waders that I think is very important is that when you put waders on and they come up here to your chest, a lot of people will use a single belt to wrap around the waders uh, up, up at about their waist. And that's fine, and that has worked for years and years and years. What I would like to suggest to you is that once you get the waders on, you put this first belt on, and then you put on a second belt at the very top of the waiter. And that is going to really protect you when you fall in the water from getting water past your belts. You'll have an extra layer of security keeping that water from going over the, the waders and down into your, your pants legs. Because once your legs fill up with water, you're in trouble. All right. So that's something to consider. Consider wearing two belts. Uh, the, la the th last thing I'd like to talk to you about is that if you're in inclement weather and you need a, a rainproof jacket, um, there are a number of jackets out there that are rainproof that work very well as a fly fishing jacket. They come with a number of pockets uh, and this one happens to come with a pocket in the back that's waterproof that you can zip up if you want to carry extra fly boxes or groceries or bottled water. Uh, you've got zippered waterproof pouches inside. So consider a rain gear of, of that nature and if it's going to be inclement consider layering. Don't just wear a big heavy raincoat. Wear something underneath that you can as the uh, weather warms up, you can start taking some of those layers off so you don't sweat because uh, once you start sweating, you can get awfully cold. All right. Again, I'm Keith Richard wrapping up part three of five fishing accessories, things to consider. Thank you. Wishing you tight lines and tighter loops.